Hi everyone, this is Contrary Sims. Today I am doing a very special collab video. I'm here with Make2. Hi guys! Hello everyone! We're Make2, hi! So we're doing a house flip challenge of sorts. So what I've done here is I have made over one of Make Two's houses. It was the HGTV house. If you want to have a look at that, I'll link it in the description below so you can go over and see the original and you can see how much I've changed, which is kind of a lot. Uh <laughs> this looks awesome, by the way. Thank you. This is our first time seeing it, yeah. On their channel as well, they have made over one of my houses as well, so I'll also link that below. So you should definitely go and check that out, because they did an amazing job of making over my Queenslander house. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> For this house, it's a house flip challenge, but in a way I've kind of unflipped it, so taken it back to the past. Because if you've watched any of my tour videos before, you might have noticed that I kind of do a bit of a retro thing, where my game is kind of progressing through the mid-20th century. And I've made it pretty much up to the 70s now, so I needed to make some 70s houses, even though it's really difficult for me because I think a lot of 70s design really should stay forgotten. <laughs> uh, same, same. <laughs> but I did but my still, best still, this with looks it. awesome. The original HGTV house on Make 2's channel was really quite sleek, it was all black and white. I think he was saying in that video that you kind of imagined that Chip and Joanna might have come in and found an old house and <laughs> yes. made it over. Yes, from Fixer Upper. But this is, you know, pretty kitschy and pretty old fashioned. I've made it all red brick. Yeah. And I've kept the wraparound veranda uh, balcony thing that you had going on, but I've changed up the railing to the kind of classical style, which I think combining this kind of classical Italian railing with the red brick is something that was quite common on Australian houses in like the late 60s and 70s. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So lots of dark wood going on as well, which I think was quite popular. And the colour scheme inside is a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I really liked about your house was the way that you did the little porch underneath. It was kind of a room oh, built yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And for that, instead of having the, the open double doorways, I used the villa contractible doors. So it can kind of be closed right. into a sort of sunroom. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so like these doors here can open yeah, like can that. Open oh, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. That's a cool idea. By the way, I just noticed that the sim that we sent over to your town is wearing this like futuristic <laughs> stuff. So maybe he's a, he's a, he's time, a time traveler. traveler. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he's traveled back That was to the accidental, 70s. but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say I really love the colors that I'm seeing and like um, all the landscaping, and I love that you said it on this. Yeah, on the wooded lot and all that too. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I, um, I chose that because on the, the small lots, the house takes up, you know, like the whole lot. And I thought this family really would want to have a bit of property. So I wanted to have the, the kind of trees mm -hmm. and the, you know, looking like it goes off a little bit into the, into the bush, maybe, <laughs> behind their house. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Um, so in the, the little porch, I used the tiles that came from the laundry event. And I really mm -hmm. like them in small entryways and porches and hallways like this because when it's in too big a space, it's just a little overwhelming because <laughs> it's we such have a bold pattern. the exact same mindset. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought it looked really seventies with that really earthy color scheme and the the bold pattern. Yeah, absolutely. That's really cool. Okay. All right. If we head inside. For the living room, I it's actually really similar to the layout of yours, but it it just looks so different. I think I love this. Yeah. Yeah. I um I just got that that stone fireplace there from a mystery box, and I'd really been hoping to get it because it's so amazing, and I really wanted to use it somewhere. I'm so jealous. I have not got yeah. this yet, mm. and. You haven't got it in your game either. No, but I think Chip and Jojo would love that fireplace. <laughs> they would probably paint it white or something. Yeah. Like they'd ungodly love it and then thing. ruin it. Yeah, yeah. yeah they'd love it and then <laughs> ruin no it. No offense to Chip and Jojo. <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. If any if any flippers got into this house, they would see that and either tear it out or paint it white. <laughs> and it would be sacrilege. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah and it's of, gorgeous. Lots of kind of warm, earthy, ochery colors. I rarely use those retro chairs 
because I actually think they're kind of ugly, but since this was the 70s <laughs> that I'm building it for, I kind of had to. <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. Like, kind of, yeah. I can imagine the family sitting in these chairs listening to Led Zeppelin or something like that, <laughs> and, you know, yeah. living their best 70s life. I love that you use the retro TV over here as well. I love that, like, the liquor on top of it is so very 70s. <laughs> yeah, I think this TV is actually meant to be a 50s TV, but... Yeah. I feel like in those days, we did, they didn't upgrade their technology quite so rapidly Definitely. as we do. And the 70s TV just looks like a little bit too futuristic. Like it was more like the kind of Barbarella spaceship style <laughs> and something that would be in someone's actual home. Yeah. So yeah, I went for that one instead. Cool. I was really keen to use the Latin Villa windows. Yes. Because I actually never, I never won the Latin Villa. But I managed to get a whole heap of those windows out of architect homes. <laughs> so yeah. now I'm just putting them everywhere. <laughs> I, love I them. think that's a better deal, right? Like sometimes the architect homes, um, especially like they come with like these limited time items and they're usually just going for simoleons as opposed to like the prices of other pre-built houses. So yeah, it's yeah, a good deal to get. True. They are really expensive in my game now. Like they're probably about at least 10 million <laughs> yeah. each house. True. So it's true. insane. Um, oh look, here comes the homeowners. One's coming downstairs and one's coming into the- Oh, one's got- okay. <laughs> Some newlyweds they are, they're just <laughs> walking right through each that other. That dress is so 70s! She just wandered into the dining room. Yep. So I've- I remember in a recent build you were saying that you wanted a room to look really retro by putting in wood panelling, but it was all just too much wood and too dark. But I don't think in the 70s there yeah. was such a thing to, to, <laughs> to people oh, yeah. they would never have said oh this is too much wood <laughs> <laughs> just clad everything in wood but I've used more Latin um, the Latin villa stuff in here as well those chairs yeah I think the, the pattern on them um, looks quite retro in the 70s mm -hmm. I felt that like a, about a lot of the Latin villa stuff that it actually looked quite 70s like that kind of yeah. Exotic, I suppose you could say style would have been really popular then. Yeah, like just really colorful and like brilliant kind of disco-y style I can see, yeah. Um, and a very big dining table, which is just kind of necessary by the scale of the room. Because if you had the single wide yeah, one, it, yeah. just, it didn't fill the space right. Same issue, yeah. We've got doors to the outside from the dining room, which lead out to the little balcony, and we've just got a little seating area out there as well. Oh yeah, I've got you've gone for more bright colors out here with the yellow table and the green chairs. Yeah, I just tried to use all the colors all the time, basically. <laughs> 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 we can head into the kitchen as well from the outside. There's a nice door. So in yours, you had the sink in the middle. Which just, yeah. I don't think was really a thing back then to stick an island in the middle with a sink but in the middle of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You would always have the sink under the window, so I moved it over. Yeah. I figured that I think that makes sense. When when um, your sims flipped the house, they, they probably moved the sink into the middle of the room. Yeah, because <laughs> these days everybody wants an island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we just have a little farmhouse table in the middle. Yeah, where is this table from? I'm not sure that um, I've seen it before. It was... Oh, where was it from? It's like a recolor of the Homestead one, I think. Cool. But it, it only came in a pack in the online store, but I got it from Architect okay. Homes again. Um, okay. So some other nice simmer bought it for me and then put it in an Architect Home. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to buy it. I like that you used the orange fridge yes. over here too. Yeah, the sunset colored fridge definite yep. necessity and it matches those latin villa um bench tops as well the tile work looked yeah. appropriate i thought definitely very cool we don't want to forget about that yet the little bathroom and laundry so yeah i did i use more timber pan paneling which i don't know why they thought timber paneling in bathrooms was a good idea but they did <laughs> <laughs> Same as in the, the UK, carpet on carpet bathrooms. Carpet in bathrooms, why? Was considered... Why? <laughs> Not <laughs> just in the UK. I grew up with a bit of carpet oh, in a bathroom or two, yes. Yeah, I yeah. think that was Remember a 60s, My parents were replacing well. carpet mm. with carpet multiple times. Oh, gosh. Ew. Because <laughs> yeah. you would have needed to. Ew. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
yeah, wall to wall carpet <laughs> was just so novel that they just thought, put it everywhere. Just carpet everywhere. Yeah, carpet yeah, walls every- in it if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. And in the, the little laundry, I used the, um, the little shelf that came from the salon event. Yeah. The little towels yeah. and laundry stuff on it. I mean, they're meant to be hair products, but, you know, they're mm-hmm. detergent well, to me. But they use a lot of hair products in the 70s. <laughs> they did, yeah. Yeah, I should have put more in the bathroom upstairs. <laughs> All right. Um, so, have we covered downstairs? I think we I have. think so. We can head upstairs Cool. Now. Yeah, so we just have a... Oh, and there's a door outside from the hallway as well, as there was in yours. Um, so we can go first into the first room there, which I've turned into an office. So there's three rooms up here. You had them all as bedrooms. Mm-hmm. Um, but our our newlywed couple does not have many kids yet. Um, so they have one of them as an office. And I really like how the color scheme turned out in here. It was all kind of based on that Latin villa yeah. couch, pretty much. And it all just kind of <laughs> exploded through the room from there. Yeah. So the yellow and the orange and the blue and the green. I do that too with um, like just putting one piece of furniture and then like building everything else to kind of match the colors of that furniture. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I wasn't sure where it was going until I put that couch in there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. what I need to do. The wall needs to be hunted green, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so yeah, we have more retro furniture in here as well. We've got the cool. The that's far too modern a computer, but it's on a kind of you know mid-century looking desk. Yeah. We've got the record player, the the Arco lamp, and those kind of retro looking bookshelves from the urban furniture event. I yep. think it was. Looking good. Let's say our time traveler brought the computer with him. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> a gift from the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the next room along is the nursery. Um, I'm still, actually, I think it's just finished building now. So I've just finished building the maternity store. Oh, okay. Good luck with your pregnancy. So I haven't got pregnancy yet, yeah. but this family is going to be the one that I'm trying out pregnancy with. So I've set up a nursery. I don't have any of the new furniture yet from the event. The, update so this is all dream take mm-hmm. care yeah. furniture pretty much but i think that works out really well yeah, so i might switch it up yeah no but this is very 70s yeah. to me as well for some reason um yeah. and the curved Dreams cut of everything is very 70s yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so that's cute they're looking forward to starting a family because they literally just got married I love that you make stories for all of your like households and sim and you, you know, your entire sim town. We talked about that in our version of your Queenslander house as well, but just wanted to mention it here. <laughs> I can't help myself, you know. The house has to have some kind of grounding in like an actual family living here. Otherwise, I just can't figure out what to do with it. <laughs> you're a, you're a simmer. <laughs> so at the end of the hall, we have a shared bathroom it's a really similar layout to how you had it but i did squeeze a shower in i don't think you had showers ah okay because i um i switched the vanity you had Mm -hmm. a double one there and um i used these single ones from the island villa um and it didn't seem too cramped to have a shower in there when it was only a small sink so i went ahead and added showers works perfectly Mm mm-hmm yeah, but more timber paneling, of course. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> lots of lots of brown and warm yep. colours. The master bedroom is the last room on the upper floor. Yeah. So I added a fireplace. Ooh. Um, which is directly above the one. Oh that's my goodness. <laughs> so the chimney <laughs> would extend up. Because I think that's how houses are made. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those of you guys who watched our Queenslander version video of our our version of Contrary Sims's house, you will have heard that I got a little ripping about <laughs> you know, fireplaces. I mean, also, it's not reality. Do what you like. Have fun. We've, I've talked before, but wouldn't it be cool to have a game that was like... A- like Sims, we actually had to make a real house, so you had to think about plumbing and the electrics and mm-hmm. stuff. Because owning a house, I now know much more about plumbing than I ever did before. Mm-hmm. But doing it in Sims would be cool, but you're like, I don't want to care about plumbing, I just want to make a house. <laughs> so that's what you do. <laughs> well, you guys are of like minds, so I think that works out. <laughs> cool. 
Yeah, and I've used the stone there as yes. well just to kind of tie it back to the fireplace downstairs. Yeah, definitely. Well. The colour scheme in here is a little garish. It's not definitely not what I would choose. <laughs> That's for sure, but I feel like it's something that someone would choose in the 70s. Absolutely. Oh, here comes our our homeowner now. <laughs> it's gonna chill out. I love the 70s mustache you gave him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, I also tried to choose their outfits to look really 70s with those those warm colours and everything. Yeah. Yeah, the moustache and the kind of swept up hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that's the um, the big island villa bed as well, mm -hmm. which I I do have trouble using just because it's so big. Yeah. But these are giant bedrooms, so there was definitely room for it here. Yes. I'm glad to see that this bed is popular around YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. And I got a bunch of recolors of it as well from the mystery boxes. Right. Uh, this one was one of the recolors, wasn't it? The original one was the kind of pink and blue one. Yeah, with the dark wood, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I really like this, this particular recolor though. It looks very fresh. Yeah, same. So the lady of the house has a little dressing table over in the corner. Ooh, yep. Yeah old-fashioned little one that's perfect yeah. <laughs> lots of lots of makeup mm -hmm. and a, a hairdryer is a necessity for getting those kind of Farrah Fawcett waves that <laughs> she had going on <laughs> <laughs> the feathered hair yep yeah. but the rest of the dressing room is through that little door in that little corridor mm -hmm. it's a bit of a walking wardrobe I really like doing this setup with the the bench in the middle yeah yeah I wish I could put a mirror behind it. Same. But you can't put them there without glitching, which I think is really sad. I wish they'd loosen that up yeah. and add some mirrors that kind of work like the pictures do. And there's a little door from the end of the, the walk-in wardrobe out to the little, the skinny little balcony around the house. Yes, got it. Cool. And then they have their own And then through this well. door. Through that door. Yeah, nice. Pretty much just a mirror image of the bathroom next door. Yeah, again, it's important to have like all the plumbing yes. make sense in the house, <laughs> in, in, yeah. in addition to the fireplace and all that. <laughs> this is really cute. I mean, this is like, I love the idea that you went backwards in time with your redesign and I went forward in time with my redesign. I think that's all because, you know, your town is so inspiring with like it being set during a certain time period. So I think that worked out really well for our redesigns of each other's houses. Yeah, I think this looks just really cute and lovely. When I was looking at your HGTV floor plan, I just thought it was such a classic floor plan mm -hmm. that it was just such a really great family home that would be really perfect for a 70s nuclear family. I'm glad that you were able to like take it and run with it. Like this is such a cute house and um, just really inspiring to see what you've done with the same floor plan. Like I think we've always told people on our channel if you want to take one of our designs for your own town, feel free to make whatever changes you want. And like I think this is such a great example of doing that. Yeah, definitely. I thought this challenge would be like a really good demonstration of that. So that's why we kind of really tried to keep really similar floor plans. Just yeah. to see what you can do with the same space. <laughs> yeah, it was such a great idea. Thank you so much for like having the idea and for asking us if we'd be interested in doing it. We had so much fun doing it. And we're just really glad that we were able to make this collaboration work out technically and logistically and all that as well. Yes, thank you for that. Australian internet is just a global embarrassment, honestly. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully sometime in the future we can improve on that because we are getting broadband rolled out to us sometime in the next few years. So we will all be time travelers in our own way. <laughs> like, for us, it's summertime. For you, it's wintertime. You'll be getting high-speed internet. You know, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, Australia can finally join the 21st century. Because apparently it's back in the 20th century with me in my throwback <laughs> in town. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and you know agreeing to do the challenge. It was heaps of fun. Yeah. Thank you for the oh, invitation, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was fun for us too. Well, thanks also everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour, and make sure you go and have a look at the videos that Make2 will be putting up on their channel as well, and subscribe to them if you haven't already. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.
Bye, guys.